and what we're going to do is we're going to go around here of course you don't have to use this shape I'm just using it so I can kind of shift this around and show you how they look so I'm going to drag this over and we're going to double click on this and we're going to uh, add what we're doing is we're doing some uh, color exploration so we start off with a single hue and this is when you do research about the type of project you have and you know you go back to that lesson on the psychology of color what's a great base hue so a base hue is where your whole color palette will derive from. This will be kind of that main color that the brand logo or design piece will have and everything will kind of center around this hue choice. So this is a hue choice we can derive from mood boards, from photo inspirations, from doing uh, looking at psychology of color. There's a lot of ways to derive this original hue that will be the basis of our color palette, kind of that main color we go to in the design uh, theme. So what we're going to do is we have this, we made a copy. We're going to double click this and we're going to work around this color. So we're going to create different shades, tints, tones, and uh, maybe some varieties of hues that are very close by on the color wheel to kind of see what we can do to explore and expand this base hue further to get some other different types of secondary colors for our design piece. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of tint you don't have to do it in particular this shape or this is just kind of something that helps me visually the kind of honeycomb shape and I'm just taking the original hue and just adding gray white or black just different varieties different levels you can even go darker if you want to kind of get a really nice dark version of the same color you can also go very light and you don't have to be stuck just doing tints and shades. What you could do is you can add a little gray. You can have a little bit of tint, a little bit of, uh, a little bit of tone. You can select anywhere along this entire hue cube to get a variety of colors that you can derive from. This one a little bit darker. So just kind of seeing all the wide variety of different blues all from that single hue, just adding a little bit of those colors to it to kind of get a little bit of variety, a little bit of different shades that can all be part of a color palette. And so let's talk about color palettes for a little bit. What is the key to strong color palettes? Color palettes usually have a variety of different colors, but they also have different types of shades and tints in them from a single color. So if I were to have pure hues, um, let's say I picked five pure hues for a color palette. They're all very super vibrant and super strong, but in some cases where as a designer, I need to have a lighter background, I need to have a darker background, I need to have some kind of option. You don't have a lot of flexibility when you have five very strong pure hue colors that are competing against each other. So it's nice to have the a base hue but also some varieties of shades and tints of that hue so that in case I needed a lighter color or a neutral color of that hue, I have it. Um, so that's what we're going to develop with this color palette we're going to be doing now is we're going to develop a nice soft color palette. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this strong purple hue right here up here at the top. This is a pure purple hue. What I like to do is uh, go ahead and bring it to the left and let's just add a little variation of it just like this and a little bit of a darker version. And what's nice about this, I'll just go ahead and do it even darker here, like a real dark, almost black purple, but still has a little hint of purple. And let's do the same thing. Let's get some neutral light color, just adding a little bit of white. Kind of now off white over here. And what's great about this is I have kind of our base hue, but I have all this variety here. And as a designer, we need to have variety because there's going to be so many situations where a darker background or a lighter background will be important. And it's great to have a very um, flexible color palette. So let's say this is kind of our base hue color. Let's go ahead and create one that will pair well with the purple. And so this is where we talk a little bit about contrast. So right now, this is a pretty bright, vivid color. And so one of the highest contrast things you can do with a pairing color palette, so we're finding that second kind of uh, color pa main color for a color palette. Let's say we go to the color wheel, and I'm just going to go over to color.adobe.com, which is a great website for finding hues and colors. And I'm going to grab, go ahead and double click my swatch here. I'm going to get this hex code down here, 
and I'm just going to copy this and paste it over. We don't have to worry about the technical side. We're just focusing on theory. I'm putting that in here so I can show you what is the opposite of the color wheel, wheel of purple. So the opposite is going to be, let's go ahead and get this pink color. I'm going to go ahead and select that as our base color by selecting this little triangle. And now I can select over here and it won't move. That base color is stuck. So let's find what is the opposite of the color where it's going to be yellow. And so that's going to be the highest contrast that you can have between two colors is the opposite on the color wheel. What if we were to slide this over and just add a little hint of warmness to it? We're going to get some really nice color combinations here. So you see kind of that purple and you see that uh, orange go really well together. So this is a very vibrant, high contrast color combo. So I'm going to bring that orange over here and let's see what we can do. So I'm just pasting that hex co color code there. Let's get rid of these. Let's do the same thing we did before by creating a couple different variations. By So now this is our two base hues, and these are just different variations of shades that we can use for our color palette. This is a very high, high, high contrast, vibrant color pairing, and we can keep going with another high contrast, vibrant color. And so this is great for a very youthful brand or logo or design piece, um, something that really needs a lot of energy that needs, um, if you look at the psychology of color, something that's um, uh, refreshing, younger demographic. Um, I can even see this in the healthcare industry to try to break the mold of being kind of, you know, medical, just kind of a warmth to it because both of these are considered to be warm colors. Um, although the purple is kind of in the middle of cool and warm, kind of in the transition period. So this is great for something like that. And we could do the same thing, but use uh, less contrast and have kind of more of a subtle color palette pairing. So what we can do now is we can kind of combine some of these colors to create our color palette. So we kind of have our base hues, we have our two main colors, but then we could start to pull from a couple of these different colors to really create a, co a cohesive set. So we can kind of pull these together Picking colors we think we'll need. We're not going to need all these different shades and tints. And so as you can see, we're starting to develop a little bit of a palette here that we can use. I'm just kind of putting them in order. So this is kind of the final color palette. We didn't need to use all of those. We could see how we picked that base hue, and that gave us a good idea of how to pick the next color. Uh, based on if we wanted it to be vibrant and youthful or a little bit more low energy, elegant, softer, or subtle. So here's kind of that color palette in action. You can kind of see how it works really well. So let's do something a little bit different. Let's do a more subtle color palette. 